The Great Pumpkin Contest, written and illustrated by Angie Rosellar. The leaves were beginning to change color. The air had become brighter and colder. And with the change in season from summer to fall, it was time for Cat County's Great Pumpkin Contest. In this little county lived two cats as different as could be. Mimi spent her days inside reading stories about cats who were bold, smart, and loved. Sometimes she wished she had a friend. Clara preferred to be outside, tending her garden and having tea parties. Both wanted to win the first prize ribbon in the Great Pumpkin Contest. Earlier that summer, Mimi had read all the books, and she formed a plan. She found the sunniest spot in her garden and made sure it was away from the wind, added just the right plant foods, and then dug tiny holes and planted her pumpkin seeds. She waited and waited and waited some more, until one day a tiny sprout had appeared. Soon there were vines and then flowers. Next door, Clara had happily planted her pumpkin seeds all over her garden. Before long, her pumpkin patch was filled with lots and lots of little pumpkins. Clara peeked at Mimi's pumpkin patch. There was one pumpkin that was getting very big and round. Wow, said Clara, your pumpkin looks amazing. How did you make it grow so big? I've read lots of books, said Mimi. Very smart, said Clara. She went back to tend her crops of little pumpkins. Mimi's pumpkin continued to grow and grow and grow. Clara's pumpkins grew too. Soon it was time for the great pumpkin contest, but how was Mimi going to get her enormous pumpkin to the fair? She tried pushing it and pulling it, but it was just no use. The pumpkin was too big. If only there was another way. Ta-da, a wheelbarrow. It was perfect. Mimi rolled her gigantic pumpkin onto the cart and set off for the fairground. She couldn't wait for everyone to admire her very big pumpkin. Clara stacked some of her beautiful little pumpkins and headed to the fair too. She was also very proud. The road into town was bumpy. The pumpkin wiggled and jiggled. Soon, Mimi's giant pumpkin began to tip. It teetered and tottered and, look out for that pothole, Mimi! Rolled right out of that rickety cart with an enormous thunk, splat, kablooey. The whole town was covered in Mimi's giant, gloopy, schloopy pumpkin. Mimi was horrified. She ran back home and hid. There were pumpkin guts everywhere. Who will ever want to be my friend now? Later that day, Mimi heard a knock at her door. It was Clara. I brought you a pumpkin, even though it's not so big. Maybe next year you could show me your pumpkin growing secrets, she said. Mimi slowly smiled. Yes, I would like that. Mimi sat and stared at Clara's pumpkin, and soon she formed a new plan. The next day, Mimi went down to the fair. She had a surprise just for Clara. Perfect, positively splendid. It's the cat's meow. A first prize pumpkin they could enjoy together as friends. The life cycle of a pumpkin. Pumpkin seeds, sprouting, flower, green pumpkin, and then an orange pumpkin.